Okay, my name is Beach Billy, and uh, I'm Danny with Outdoor Dog Supply. Uh, today we are going to set up your new drive track. This is the Drive Track 71, the newest of the Garmin drive tracks, and we are here to show you how to set it up and show you what accessories and things are going to really make it work like you need. Um, I want to thank Danny for letting us use his drive track, but I just can't do the pink case, so <laughs> that's right. Can move to orange? Yes, we're definitely moving to orange. <laughs> okay, now that we got the Garmin Drive Track 71 set up with the right case, first thing you do is you turn the power button on, which is on the back of your unit. Um, now it's going to actually do loading. We had just turned it on, turned it off. We've been doing this for a little bit. So the and your screen that's going to first come up is the screen right here. It's going to have a where to. It's going to have a view map. Your home screen. So your home screen. So we're going to go ahead and put this up. And now your Drive Track 71 is a up to date, full modern version of a vehicle. So that is your where to. We're not going to get into that part today, but everybody, most people have yep. used a vehicle GPS. They're actually really nice. You set your home address. This thing will actually split your screen when you're driving down the road. Stick one in your truck. You'll never use your phone again. Absolutely. Um, all right. So your next thing is going to be setting up so first we're going to go making sure it hooks up with your garmin alpha right if you have any other handhelds on when they come in or for some reason it's not tracking the very first thing you're going to want to do is go in and make sure it's linked to your unit so what we're going to do here is click on your dogs there is a menu button in your upper left hand corner you're going to click on that um this one here is unpair which if it's not connected to your own handheld you then you're going to want to unpair it yep. unpair from current handheld yes all right, so when, as soon as we hit OK, see how the check just popped up? It linked with the nearest handheld, which is the one right beside it. Yeah. It's that easy. Turn right. your unit on, make sure it's just your handheld there. Now, a couple things to troubleshoot. If for some reason your handheld is not correct connecting and you do everything, there's not but two things it can be. One is you have an older handheld and it has not been updated to take a drive track. Easy enough, go to Garmin Express, update okay. your handheld, you're set to go. Next is going to be the... Uh, you would go to your handheld and you're going to hit setup. You're going to go to dogs and you see that broadcast dog data. It is very important that's on. As you can see, if I turn that off, it automatically disconnected to that handheld and that there. So we're going to turn that on. It has to be on to work with your drive track. Remember when you're doing this in your house, when you first get it pulled out of the box, that this is designed to be ran in a vehicle. The battery life is very short. Um, so if you don't have it plugged in, you're going to be going back and forth. It's going to be dying on you quite frequently. Now what we're going to do is go in and show you some more important things. Very, very important. The drive track 70 and 71, both of them are not half the unit without what we would call hunt view card or at least bird's eye. Bird's eye, absolutely. Bird's eye is your satellite imagery. It's bad to the bone. Anybody that's had one of these, I can't tell you. It is not the unit without being able to actually see where you are. So what I'm going to do here is we're in Virginia. I'm going to hit the Virginia Hunt View card and we're going to stick this in. This is what you're going to going to see um, with your topo map versus what we're getting ready to do. Um, there'll be quite a bit of difference just so you can see the difference. OK, important. Your Hunt View card when you get it. I can't tell you how many phone calls we have gotten. You sent us the wrong size Hunt View card um, before you get mad and feel a little bit off. Uh, it is a small card inside a bigger card. And the reason they do that is, one, it protects it coming in, and two, this is a way it reads in some of your computers and other right. devices. Not all of them have a little SD reader, so. And then Perfect. how you put it is right in the side of your unit. This just pops right in. It simply slides in. Simply slides in. Yep. Now, this is gonna probably make me reset itself. Oh, the device will restart in four seconds. If anybody wants to know why we're sweating, by the way, it's not because it's 100 degrees out here. It's because me and him just got out of confession. That's right. So, <laughs> we, yeah. I yeah. Woo. Yeah. All right. It just got a little All hotter. Right. <laughs> and, uh, got the bird's eye set up. So now you can see. Now it's, it's hard to see from there, but we are going to actually zoom in. And... Now, if you zoom in real close, it starts to get blurry, but you can see where we're at, but you can tell we're not in a building. Another reason we're sweating. We're outside doing this dang video. That's right. All right. So we're, um, but as you can see, the buildings, you can see your roads. 
Um, let's scroll down the street a little bit. You can see your fields. Like here, you can tell we're in a relatively low area in some of the surroundings. There's the creeks. All right. Okay. Can, you, can you show landowners on the drive track like you can on the Alpha? Yes, you certainly can. Um, anything you see these black lines, those are defining the actual property lines themselves. Okay. This is a great tool. You can use it when you're hunting or without. It also lets you know where you're at or where your dogs are at. Do you have permission or don't you have permission to be there? So it's great. All you do is click your finger on the area that you want to know. Um, you hold it there for a second with the drive track. All right, so you see Outsource Supply Incorporated just came up. That is us. We're the ones that own the property here. It's also going to tell you it's private, private. property. It's also going to tell you it's in the city, city of Chesapeake. Chesapeake. Um, so those are things that, you know, and it's, you don't have all the counties in different places. We have gotten phone calls where, but I'd say the majority of the places in the country, the landowners work pretty well. There are certain counties and certain places that do not allow by law. So, you know, unless you're in one of those, it, you'll have all the land information on your hunt view. But, um, so once again, you can see it's overlaid with your topo, it's overlaid with your roads. Mm -hmm. And when you're hunting, it lets you know, you know, you can call your buddy and let, let them know that, hey, your dog's in the back of the West Field, or hey, it's on the so-and-so right. path, or it's at the old graveyard. You know, you're, you're no longer guessing at all. It's right. very, very important. And you're and, not squinting to see the screen either. And even when we go to the mountains, I mean, you can see the paths. You no longer drive three, four miles to end up six, 700 yards from where you were. I mean, it's, it's amazing how much better you can see with the bird's eye itself. All right, so a common problem with the drive track is um, lo losing connectivity with the alpha. Um, what are some reasons for that? Okay. All right. Here are two things that we've seen a whole lot of. One is having more than one handheld in your vehicle that has your actual um, broadcast dog data on. And so what's happening is that unit is getting interference and it has. And sometimes once it drops your unit, there's really no way of fixing it. Um, there's no way of fixing it until you physically go in, have to disconnect your handheld from it, let it reconnect, and then mm -hmm. you're good to go. Another issue for whatever reason we have is very oftentimes if you have your handheld and your drive track both plugged into the vehicle to charge at the same time, it also creates some type of interference. It's yeah. not in all vehicles. It's not all the time. If once again, if it keeps telling you I've lost connection to uh, the drive track, which it'll do over and over again, you have to completely remove it. And you can either do that by turning off your dog data and letting it reconnect or just turn off your drive track, let it sit for five, six seconds, turn it back on and it'll reconnect. Yep. Um, they are working on that issue. You know, it's, it's until we truly have an update, it's something that they have worked on a little in the past, but hopefully they will fix that completely soon. That is the biggest fault with the drive track, but something that once you use it, you can definitely live with. With the drive track, um, obviously you, you have your map. Yep. That's what you're using to track your dogs. Yep. Um, a lot of people go into the settings. Um, is there a way that you can physically turn the map off? Yes. All right. Yes. All you do is you go to map and vehicle settings mm -hmm. and then you're going to scroll all the way down. So if you do not want bird's eye or if it's getting on your screen, just because you have it, you go down to configure maps. When you go into your configure maps, you can see, all right, it's got Virginia. Um, that's the landowners. And then you've got the actual hunt view parcels. Mm -hmm. um, so you can go in and turn on or off. There's the actual topo. So that's another thing that's really nice with these hunt view cards. They actually do a more detailed topo also other than the 100K. Um, so yeah, if you do, and then here's all your imageries that are on it. So if you don't want to see, all right, so we're going to turn this off for now so you no longer... If you want to take off the, the actual bird's eye, you would click on that. And now when we go back to our map, we're looking there it at, is. We're looking at that. At the, All right, we've been sitting there blabbering on, and we realized that, hell, we didn't even put the collars uh, for show to show y'all once it's connected what the actual dog looks like on the screen. So the we're going to go ahead and zoom in here. Now, we're not. This isn't a live, obviously, hunting or different thing there. But... um. We have one collar set on. It's up there at the actual store itself. Uh, you can see that we have these collars here laying with mm -hmm. us. So on your screen, 
you have your dog displayed. So green is at 90 yards that way. Now, if you don't want to have green or 90 yards showing or the distance, it's very, very easy. All you do is you go to your settings, go to map and vehicle, and then there it is, your dog no labels. labels. If you want to turn them off, you just turn the two off. If you want them back, you click them. Yeah, we'll click them back and save. And then same thing. Now, if you have trouble reading that, it is nice. Now, with multiple dogs, I recommend leaving it the size it is. But the actual label size for the others, if you want to see it large, save. If you go back now, and you, you can see it's way bigger. If you do you know, do it you, in large, it's going to cluster your screen up and... Yeah, now dog. if you have multiple dogs, but if you have one or two dogs and want to see it, yeah, um, I know my rep, he has one or two coon dogs he uses. He keeps a big screen right? because he only has one or two, so it's never really clogging the screen up. When we run 10 dogs, I mean, it can get to where you can't even see underneath it. You're not seeing your bird's eye at all. Right. So we typically keep our, you can see as you zoom out how the dogs start to come together. So it yeah. doesn't take many dogs to start to clutter your screen. So that's the... Easiest, we really recommend if you have multiple dogs, keep it on the small setting. If you have one or two dogs and need to read it better, put it on the larger setting. And can't you do that with the dog icons as well? You can. Um, let's go back to map and vehicle. Let's go to small, save, dog icon, same thing. If you want to go up to large on that, you can do the same thing with it. Right. Multiple dogs, absolutely, you don't want to do it because it clutters your screen as soon as you right. zoom out. But with... Um, you know, one or two dogs is strictly a preference, but it will help you see the dog themselves. Okay. All right. Dog tracks. Another question we get all the time. Get 10, 15 dogs on there, and I mean, it does not take long to where it looks like you're eating spaghetti. Yep. Spaghetti um, tracks all over you. So that is another. Very oftentimes, if you want to go in, that'll get rid of your dog tracks. Doesn't clutter up your screen. So one or two dogs, most of the time, it's not going to make a difference anyways. Yep. Real quick, while I remember, I want to bring this. This is a new product by Garmin. It's actually really cool. It works with the drive track. It's your wireless backup camera. Um, you can see it avoids all of the setup that you had to do hooking batteries. It's so easy, I can do it. Yeah, it's so easy, even Danny can do it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the um, So you can see it comes with that. It's actually got a license plate mount that pops in. Um, it is really, really simple. Check that out. You can put it in your dog box. You can put it in the back of your vehicle. It is a really, really nice new product for the drive track and some of the vehicle devices for Garmin. Uh, another nice thing about um, outdoor dog supply is we carry a lot of accessories for the drive track. Uh, hard case. If y'all drive anything like I do when you're not using the drive track, it is nice to have it protected. This is something you can throw in your center dash, nope. throw in your toolbox. It's going to protect your unit. Um, the Obviously, we have protective cases. That's something you can get for really inexpensive screen savers. Screen savers. We have a lot of different mounts. We have the double type like this that go on your suction. We have ones that mount to your seat. Uh, we also have our premium mounts and different things that go on your window. They're a whole lot nicer than what comes with these. Uh, that is one thing uh, Garmin will never get accused of is, is, is overgoing on the accessories that come with some of the units. So That's right. we try to make the unit better from that aspect. Uh, we try to make it to where it's going to work for you in different areas. Uh, one of the things that does happen with this is you will find with time, especially if you're popping, people will pop it off and on on the different balls. Right. Um, I have people, I have actually glued mine in my truck, so it is solid. So if you do glue it, do not glue it to the back of your unit. You glue the ball itself. These We have plenty of these. You can always replace that mm -hmm. with a simple mount. And so if it is driving you crazy, uh, get it, glue it so it's solid where it's at. And if you ever need to change it or replace it, you can really, uh, it's very, very inexpensive very. to get another mount and another thing. So most you'll people find, think it's their mount that's going wrong nine times out of 10 is that little yeah, ball. Yeah, it's that little right ball there. to where it's just yeah. with time, it's gonna start wiggling more back and forth. and change it out. And really, other than that, uh, it is a heck of a tool. Uh, you're going to find that once you use it, it's hard to live without. That's you know? right. Especially guys like Danny that you are getting really see. old. They can't yep. see. That's the, <laughs> the uh, Yeah. <laughs> it's a huge benefit. It is. It now, is. when you're running multiple dogs and you're driving down the road, it's one more thing, too. 
it's a safety thing. It's yeah. very easy to look at a glance and know where your dog is with that, where you're trying to look at that little screen on your handheld. And you're running a uh, ditch. It, it's, it's happened more than once. Yep. So, yep. all right. All right. Well, thank you all very much yep, and have a wonderful afternoon. Don't forget to visit OutdoorDogSupply.com. Get any of your accessories for your equipment.